So, Kinsey, cracks appearing in Prince Harry's case then. Isabel, this is not the only instance. He also talks about how the press are to blame for his, uh, you know, breakup with Chelsea Davies. Now, if you read Spare, you see that he actually blames the Queen. He says the Queen wasn't quite sure about Chelsea, and that's ultimately why they broke up. He also talks about a, a cell phone and, and, you know, his cell phone potentially being hacked, but he didn't get a cell phone until he arrived at Eton. So there are a lot of stories that aren't necessarily necessarily, you know, copacetic when it comes to his charges against the mirror. And of course, you know, the, the burden of proof is on Prince Harry. He is the one who has to provide the evidence. And it certainly seemed, at least from the Mirror Group's attorney yesterday, uh, that case by case, article by article, they were trying to prove that actually he didn't have that evidence, that many of these stories had been reported in other newspapers and that perhaps the prince was quite confused in his memories. And, and I think that people are now watching to see if Prince Harry's, you know, barrister hopefully has something up his sleeve, right? Hopefully he's got this Perry Mason moment where he has this evidence because Harry quite simply can't remember, doesn't know, suggests you ask someone else, and he just does not have the evidence. The evidence is not there. So hopefully his representatives do have something coming uh, because otherwise this does appear to be a pretty weak case. So, Kinsey, does it change your mind against Harry or not? You are somewhat sceptical uh, about his, uh, uh, his memory and uh, his, uh, his marriage and, and whatever. But he said there in court yesterday that uh, the press hated him from the day that he was born. Um, oh. Has he a point? Amen. You know, and, and Isabel, we loved Prince Harry. Do you not remember? Yes. He was the handsome. He was the yes. rebel prince. He was the hunky prince. He was the uh, he was the dream. He was the available prince for a while when we lost Prince William. We loved Prince Harry. We loved his cheekiness. Remember that video of him sticking his tongue out at photographers with Princess Diana giggling in the background? We absolutely adored Prince Harry from the time he was born. So what a what a bizarre statement to make. Yeah, and I suppose the other bits that raised eyebrows yesterday, one was making a political comment, which, of course, I mean, he's not a working member of the royal family, but it's still quite shocking to hear that he thought that the British government was at rock bottom. And also uh, a few comments to make about Piers Morgan, saying that uh, he made him feel sick to his stomach when he thought about him possibly listening in on his mother. Well, you know, what I would say about Harry's um, opinion or uh, endorsements are that he it suggested that the Americans watching his Time magazine special vote for Joe Biden. And now we've got a president in the White House that can barely tie his own shoes. So when it comes to uh, Harry's endorsement, I really don't think I want it and I'm, I'm not listening. Uh, but it is you cannot help but think it, it's been a horrible experience for him. I would never want to feel this violated. But I also sympathize with Chelsea. Recently had a baby. Did she? Did he have her permission to bring all of this stuff up? Because is she being hounded and haunted yet again by him rehashing her youth and opening up these old wounds? Mm -hmm. They've they've maintained a friendship over the years, haven't they? She was at their wedding. Um, I hope that she. Well, so was George face. Clooney, Isabel. So was George Clooney. And he'd never met them before. <laughs> True story. Well, <laughs> Very good go. point. Very good point. <laughs> that was a good point. And a good point Piers Morgan made yesterday, Kinsey. I don't know if you've seen the clip or not, when he was uh, doorstepped about all of this. And um, he said he, he hadn't seen uh, Prince Harry's testimony or heard it. But um, he looks forward to reading about it, uh, Prince Harry's war uh, against the press, uh, protecting his privacy in his next book, which I thought was... Um, Very clever. Very good. Very good.